Our top talker for today is the founder of the Gossip David website, David Kaplan. Welcome. Thank you. He's on every big show, you name it. David Kaplan. Hello, David. How are you? David Kaplan. Touch that track, it turns into gold. Entertainment journalist David Kaplan is here with the inside scoop. What is the latest? What's the latest, David? E.T. special correspondent Chris Raggy spoke with reporter David Kaplan. Um, I spoke to actually someone who was at her performance last night at the Beacon Theater here in New York. She was in great condition. She even joked, she said, I'm 81, I could go at any moment. A spokesperson for the New York State Department of Health tells me they have launched an investigation. Is it true that you took a selfie? A source tells me that Dr. Gwen Corvin was indeed the doctor working on Joan Rivers when she went into cardiac arrest. A family source tells me Melissa's mood has gone from grief to sheer anger. And you had talked with Joan a lot over the years. Was there a conversation that still sticks in your mind? Um, you know, I interviewed her several times, and she just always is very sort of uplifting. The latest on the Ellen and Portia rumors with our co-host and entertainment journalist, David Kaplan. And That's David right. Kaplan's back. Hi. David. Yeah. So when you go back into the community and you see kids, you know, who also are, sort of have adversity, what sort of, you know, the advice you give to them? For a musical festival, there's lots of debauchery. So on a scale of one to ten, where would you put that there? <laughs> <laughs> right behind me, I'm actually in front of the Dolby Theater here on Hollywood Boulevard. And I packed a Rinko, you gotta have an umbrella. So these girls are gonna give the Kardashians a run for their money. Do we know them? Well, we don't, but you will since. The loss of Paul Walker, this was very surprising. Authorities are scrambling. When they crashed, they were only about 500 feet from the event. Rihanna asked for Robert Pattinson's phone number. We know she's on the market right now. Well, I spoke to a source very close to Rihanna this morning who said the story is, quote, ridiculous. That's simply not true, that she's just being dramatic. Aaron Sorkin is sorry for the newsroom. It, I think for someone like Aaron Sorkin, with his ego and this, like you're saying, this grandiose nature about him, even to apologize is pretty amazing. Joining us right now is someone who could be at the Emmys, but right? instead is right here with us. This is much better than being at the Emmys, right? Thank you. We think right. so, too. Let's bring in entertainment reporter David Kaplan. Listen, he was partying with his dad last night, so I think he does have a bit of a shaky support system around him. We brought in a special guest because this is what he does. I Please. track the behavior with charts and graphs. There you go. <laughs> David Kaplan. Yeah. Any publicity is not necessarily bad publicity. That's the power of social media, that you can do this for free. It is accessible. There's really a history, though, that what happens at the SAG definitely Definitely echoes what we're going to see at the Academy Awards. Well, what's the hit rate on remakes? Most don't do well. <laughs> but I got to tell you, I'm thinking, you know, an all female Ghostbusters, that could get a lot of buzz. Back from the uh, Kentucky Derby. Yes, the Kentucky Derby. Um, I think we have pictures yeah. of you, too. Uh, Carol Lipinski and John Weir. Do, wait, is that Naomi Campbell? Oh, no, that's uh, um, Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Bassett. Well, exactly. You really Kaplan. knocked yourself out on the hat. <laughs> right? I know, right? <laughs> Thank you, H&M. I'm a big sports fan. I've, enjoy, I've always watched the Derby every year. I'm looking ahead to what's going on with my health. Klaus tells me that Lindsay was definitely attacked by this guy. He said Lindsay was terrified. He thought she was almost going to die. Straight out to David Kaplan, celebrity journalist, GossipDavid.com. He entered the home that he used to share with his um, now strange wife over Easter weekend, and he actually, um, you know, obliterated the house. What does this say to you, David Kaplan? that this guy has some issues. David, uh, you know, all of us grew up with Michael Jackson. It is incredible and it's a huge testament to his staying power and his relevance as a singer. Obviously, there's an issue with security at Sony. We sort of, you know, get a little bit of a chuckle hearing that executives are calling Tom Cruise, quote, demanding. She said she's no longer twerking. She's like, now that white people are twerking, I'm done with that. He was a tortured soul. You know, some people, that's in their DNA and I think you see that with a lot of celebrities. Everyone is talking about Justin Bieber throwing up on stage at a concert in Arizona on Saturday. I emailed today and I reached out to her two agents, New York and Los Angeles, her music manager. And if she sees him, she's gonna spit in his face. Ooh! David, what do you think? I wouldn't necessarily, though, overestimate the public. What do you think we're looking at? This is something, I think it's a it's a sibling issue here. I don't think it's as big as we think. You're on it, <laughs> Inspector Miller. All right, I like it. I've got my hat on. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, David. Thanks, thank David. you, David. Yes, thank happy you. fourth. Thank you, guys. GossipDavid.com to follow us. <laughs>